Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the How to Build series where we're going through every single champion in the game and I'm putting together kind of a quick reference guide for newer players and earlier game players who just need a little guidance with a particular champion. I won't be going into late game builds and late game strats and masteries and things of that nature because it can get a little convoluted and be pretty specific based on how you want to utilize a particular champion. So again, it's just a quick reference to give you a little bit of guidance with a champion if you're not real sure what to do with them uh, or, or just need an idea on how to build them. So that being said, Quick disclaimer, I'm not saying my way is the best way or the only way or that I know better than everybody else. Just want to put these videos out to help players less experienced than I am. So, that being said, I am going to run through this, so get the notepad ready, get ready on the pause and rewind button, and let's jump into it and talk about the Chaplain. She has a Sacred Order support, and I'm actually a little bit familiar with her. She, she seems like a lot of fun, so let's get into it. She's a support. Base HP... From what I've seen, a little on the lower side for a support, but there's reasons for that, and we're going to get into those. Uh, part of it is that her base attack is nice. Defense is, you know, whatever. Nothing amazing, but not a big deal. And then her speed is 102, so she's over the 100 mark. Pretty nice base speed. Pretty nice base attack. Decent enough base HP. So let's talk about her, her, her skill. Her skills. Attacks one enemy. Pretty standard. Nothing real crazy there. Second skill, removes all debuffs from a target ally and then heals the target. The heal amount is proportional to this champion's attack. And then skilled up, uh, the heal boosts a little bit and you can get it down to a three turn cooldown. Now, this is what I was talking about where why her base HP might be a little lower and her attack might be a little higher. Because she's, she needs the attack to really make the most of her heals, which is an interesting design. It's an interesting setup. So we're going to think about that when we start to talk about artifacts because we want our heal to be substantial. It's also nice that it is a, it's a full cleanse on that target. Uh, it, you know, if it was AoE, maybe, maybe she wouldn't be a rare, you know what I mean? Maybe she'd have to be an epic at that point, but it's a full cleanse on a target and a heal, and it can probably be a pretty substantial heal if you get her attack scaled up a little bit. So pretty interesting, and three turn cooldown scaled up. Last skill, attacks all enemies, heals all allies by 25% of the damage inflicted. Now this is really cool. This is really cool to me because it's AOE, which means there's a lot of damage to be done. She can do a lot of damage with an AOE skill because the more people she's hitting, the more damage she's doing, which means the more she's able to heal. So you scale her attack up a little bit and I mean, if she can hit everybody, basically she's going to, if, if you're in an arena or you're in a situation where there are four enemies, like a campaign wave or arena, basically she's going to heal for the amount of damage that she does to one of the targets, right? If the, if the damage is split up four ways, that, that means that 25% of the total damage would be the damage she does to one of them. So if you can make her hit everybody, like if she hits everybody individually for roughly 15 to 20,000, that's how much she's going to heal for, right? So... Um, assuming that, that I'm understanding the skill right anyway, I, I would assume it says heals all allies by 25% of the damage inflicted. So that means if you hit four people and you hit them for 20,000 each, you did 80,000 damage and 25% of that would be 20,000. So uh, it, it, it's, it's a nice heal and it's got the utility of doing damage, an AoE attack with it. So you're not sacrificing a turn to heal your team and letting the other side rest, you know what I mean? You're still getting to hit them, and it's a substantial heal. It's a nice heal, so pretty fun. I think this gives her some utility in arena, as I mentioned, and in campaign for sure. She's going to be great on campaign waves. She's going to be great on dungeon waves, and could even be great in dungeons, honestly. I mean, she could still do a nice amount of damage with this even if there's only one target, I would imagine. I don't know what her multipliers are, I don't know how her damage scales, but I would assume if you get some decent attack on her, um, then then it's going to be a nice heal. So, I don't, I, I mean, honestly, actually, now that I mention it, I'd, I'd want to see what kind of damage she does. But she might even be a nice clan boss support if you don't have a lot of other options. I don't. We, again, we'd have to see what kind of damage this could do to the clan boss with there only being one target and, and what the heal would be. But it's an AOE heal, so I mean, it, it'll it'll add up. Even if she can hit him for you know twenty thousand, that's a five thousand 
HP heal for your whole team, which earlier in the game is pretty substantial, right? So I'd be interested to see. I might I might build her and, and try her out in a couple of things just to see how this heal scales. But let's talk about her stats. You you want to have you want to bump the HP up a little bit, but you we actually kind of want to gear her up like an attacker because again two of two of her the, the things she's bringing to the fight are going to scale off of attack so i'm going to say i'm going to say attack sets i'm going to say double attack speed she needs no accuracy because she has no debuffs i'm going to say double attack speed and i would go earlier game i'd go attack percentage on the gloves attack percentage on the armor speed on the boots and then what i would do is i would look for HP percentage in my substats as much as possible, as well as attack percentage and speed. Those are the things I would be looking for. And then, that's probably how I would build her. Eventually you could try to gear her up for crit rate and crit damage, so that this would do more damage and in turn heal more, but it would be a little while before I think you really needed to worry about that. I think right now you can focus on getting her attack percentage and speed up and then bumping her HP anywhere you can. Alternatively, you could put HP sets on her, so you could go double HP speed, for example, and still go attack percentage and attack on the gloves and armor, right? So she's getting the bump in her HP from the two HP sets, but you're still gearing her up to do attack. So, so really any combination of HP sets, attack sets, and speed sets you have that shoot her attack and speed up and then give her a nice little bump in HP percentage as well is probably what I would do with her, probably what I am going to do with her um, um, to experiment and, and try her out in a few different places and see how how it goes. So I think that'll wrap it up for her. Let's talk about her rating. Now, I would again, I would want to see how it scales and, and how what this heal looks like with some nice attack and what this heal looks like based on you know what kind of damage we can get her to do but I think she's fun I think she offers a lot of utility because she's a support that's also filling a role of doing damage so she's 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 really nice actually she's that that's that's really nice you don't have to waste a turn healing right you, you get to pump out damage in the process of doing heals so I think for the things you'd be using her for and the utility in her kit I'm gonna give her like a 7 out of 10 I think I think she's bringing a lot to a fight, maybe even like a seven and a half. I think she's bringing a lot to a fight. I think that that double utility she has in her kit is going to be really helpful. And uh, I, I'm kind of I'm kind of bummed that I overlooked her the way that I did. I think I just had I felt like I already had some better options, so I didn't really pay much attention to her. But I'm going to go back and give her some attention and see what we can't get out of her. So yeah, I think she's really good. I think you can get a lot out of her. And uh, yeah, that'll do it. So if you have any questions, drop them in the comments below. If you have any comments on her, if you're using her and you think she's better or worse than I said, or you're doing some things with her I didn't touch on in this video, we would love to hear it. Uh, I appreciate you watching. If you want to try to catch me live, I stream every weekday on Twitch at 6 p.m. Eastern at twitch.tv slash jgigs. And uh, that's it. Hope it helped. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.